So welcome to Everyday Mathematics. <clears throat> Today we are on problem 34 of the 2024 Caltech Mathematics Mid uh, final. So um, the problem is the definite integral from x equals to 0 to x tend to infinity of x over e to the power x minus 1. This is uh, what we're going to try to focus on today. So one thing we can do with this problem is we could divide both the numerator and denominator by uh, e to the power x or just multiply by e to the power negative x, um, both numerator and denominator. And that's what we've chosen to do here. Now what this amounts to is in the numerator we have x times e to the power negative x. In the denominator we now have 1 minus e to the power negative x, right? And so... Um, what happens next is we can re-express the e to the power negative x in the numerator as 1 minus, open bracket, 1 minus e to the power negative x. So that the 1s can cancel and the negative uh, times negative would become a positive and we're back to what we have here. Now, um, what happens is now we can separate uh, the two terms in the numerator so that that results into x over 1 minus e to the power negative x and minus x times open bracket 1 minus e to the power negative x over 1 minus e to the power negative x. So in the second term here, uh, the 1 minus e to the power negative x um, cancel out. So we have now as our integrand x over 1 minus e to the power negative x minus x. Now let's continue and see how we can now um, solve this problem. So what happens is um, we do have this expression um, and we can rearrange uh, it so that just to make things a little bit more clear. So we have as our integral negative x plus x over 1 minus e to the power negative x, right? So um, using... Um, the expression here, 1 over 1 minus e to the power negative x is an, a geometric progression, uh, is this geometric progression sum uh, from k equals to 0 to k tending to infinity with a common ratio being e to the power negative kx. So instead of that, we've now re uh, invoked the that summation, the geometric progression summation. And now what we can have here is instead of starting from 0, let's start from 1. And that now allows us to see that there is e to the power 0, which is 1, times x, which now this x and this x would cancel. So that now we do have a clean summation from k equals to 1 to k tending to infinity times x, right? So as we said, we do have this clean um, summation times x. Um, if we pull the x inside, so that now we do have the summation from k equals to 1 to k tending to infinity uh, of x times the power negative kx as our integrand, we can now look at it this way. If you have a sum of terms and you integrate it, it's the same as integrating the individual items or individual terms and then summing them up. And that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to rearrange uh, that so that now we are summing the independent integrals. Um, and so we are summing uh, the integrals from k equals to 1 to k tending to infinity of the integral of x times e to the power negative kx uh, from x equals to 0 to x tending to infinity. We can now use integration by parts, which tells us that if you are integrating a product of a function v and the derivative of function u, that leads us to uh, a product of u v times the integral of the function u and the derivative of function v. So 
With that in mind, we re-express e to the power negative kx as the derivative of the function uh, negative 1 over k times e to the power negative kx, such that now we take x to be our v and our u is negative 1 over k e to the power negative kx. So our uv now becomes x times negative 1 over ke, e negative kx, which is negative x over k e to the power negative kx. With the limits applied appropriately, then minus now the integral, um, keeping the limits as they are, the function u is negative 1 over k e to the power negative kx times the derivative of v, which is the derivative of x. Okay, so let's continue. So having arrived uh, here, um, the next thing we can see is that the derivative of the function x is just 1. And so in our second integral there, we're just going to be left with uh, negative uh, 1 over k e to the power negative kx. And we can pull the 1 over k out. And negative and negative becomes positive. So we have 1 over k times the integral from x equals 0 to x and infinity of e to the power negative kx. So let's uh, um, do a little bit of uh, um, solving what we have in the first term here. So limit as x and infinity of negative uh, x over k e to the power negative kx. Um, this here is the same as x over e to the power uh, kx. And as you can see, both the numerator and the denominator will tend to infinity. So we invoke the L'Hopital's rule, which means that when you have such a scenario, you can take the derivative of both the numerator and denominator and then find the limit. So in this instance here, uh, because the derivative of x is going to be 1, and we're left with 1 over uh, k e to the power kx, the k e, k e to the power kx will tend to infinity. So uh, in that scenario, this part tends to zero. Um, and and, and L'Hopital rules really investigates uh, if you have a fraction, uh, is the numerator uh, increasing more than the denominator or vice versa? And, 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 and so it, it allows you to um, evaluate that. And in this instance, uh, this fraction here means that the, the denominator increases at a faster rate than the denominator, and so it tends to zero. The second part here, uh, e to the power negative kx tends to z uh, one, and x here tends to zero, so the entire thing goes to zero. So what we're left with here is now just the second fraction, uh, the second integral, uh, the second term, which is 1 over k times the integral from x equals to 0 to x to infinity of e to the power negative kx. So integrating that allows us to now again uh, bring into our attention that it is negative 1 over k to the power negative kx uh, with the limits 0 and infinity. So uh, getting that, we do have what we have here now. Um, the next thing is evaluating uh, the limits as x tends to infinity and as x tends to 0. In that scenario, as x tends to infinity, e to the power negative k, x tends to 0. So that part tends to 0. As x tends to 0, uh, e to the power negative k, x will tend to 1. And so we are now left with uh, 1 over k times 0 minus minus 1 over k, which is going to be uh, the summation from k equals to 1 to, to k tend to infinity of 1 over k squared. So this is uh, a famous summation. Um, if you don't know about it, just go to Google and type the Bezel problem, which is Bezel is B-A-S-E-L space problem. Uh, and uh, it will actually show you. So this is a famous uh, integral. And uh, when you have 1 over k squared summed from k equals to 1 to infinity, the answer here is pi squared over 6. Uh, and so this is the answer that uh, was being sought uh, for. Um, so it's been an absolute pleasure um, looking at this problem. Um, if you do have any further questions, 
we do um, beseech you to reach out to us, leave a comment, uh, like if you like our solution. Uh, if you um, would like, you could also share our video, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed again. Um, other than that, uh, until next time, uh, have a blessed day ahead. Thank you.